Loading a workpiece. Proper installation of the workpiece is critical to the performance and continued operation of the machine. To properly insert a workpiece, first, press down on the sliding guide plate release lever and move the sliding guide plate to the right so that it will clear the width of the workpiece. Use the crank handle to raise the head high enough for easy insertion of the workpiece. Never crank your machine head above the slots on the four guide posts or it may get stuck. See manual on how to get it unstuck. Lay the workpiece on the traction drive so that it is centered lengthwise under the head. Place the board firmly up against the squaring plate and on top of the board tracking sensor. Move the sliding guide plate up against the right edge of the workpiece. The sliding guide plate is used to guide the workpiece and is not intended to lock the piece in position. It is critical to ensure the workpiece can travel freely in and out of the machine along its entire length without getting wedged. Test the workpiece by moving it in and out of the machine by hand while it is lying flat on the traction drive. Next, lower the head by turning the head crank handle counterclockwise. Once the correct pressure loading of the head is reached, the clutch will begin to click. Continue to rotate the crank two full turns once the clicking sound is heard to ensure full loading. Failure to correctly load the workpiece by ratcheting the clutch at least two full turns after the clicking begins may result in diminished carving quality. The clutch is intended to load the board against the traction drive with consistent force. In certain cases, the machine can sense if the workpiece is not loaded enough and the LCD display will show, please load board. Most often, this decreased loading is caused by insufficient lubrication of the four vertical corner posts or the two vertical lead screws. Please see the lubrication and checking the head pressure instructions under maintenance and care on this DVD or from your owner's manual for detailed information on these procedures. The head locking lever is then rotated outward into the locked position. The workpiece is now secured and ready to be carved. Make sure that the locking lever is released, pushed in, after finishing carving. If the locking lever is not released, then the head will not be able to move up and down. 